So, on the last part, we saw how to make uh, the IK targeting, and on this part, we will see how to add uh, sound to our games and how to make good sound. Okay, and shooting and have some ambience uh, in the background and stuff like that. So, as you see, I get an error in my audio manager script because even though I've dropped it over here, I need to set up a few things. Now, since uh, we've saw how to create, how to see uh, and fix the IK manager, I'm not going to use this character anymore. So I'm going to close him and I'm going to close to choose my previous character since this is a cooler model. Okay, so pick up the text and I'm going to go into my audio manager and we're going to open it and let's see how we can set up some stuff. Now, uh, what we're actually going to see now, now that I think of it, before going to the audio, the, the audio script, we're going to see what sounds we're going to use. Okay, we have one game object with an audio source that has the gun sound, which just is it's simply the sound that the the gun and its gun will make. Okay. Now, for now, it only has one gun since we do not have any other behavior. But if you create a weapon manager, you can pick uh, the sound from its gun and do it like that. Now, uh, we do not want to loop, and uh, neither do we want him to play on awake. Okay. Now, for gun sound, uh, especially, you can create some more. Uh, advanced behaviors so that your your sound will not clip if they play too close to each other but that's something for another day anyway okay now run folly is what you hear when I am running apart from the footsteps that uh, the sound is that sound that sounds like clothes and stuff moving up and down okay and that will play, that will play, we won't play all the time basically, and we want it to loop, but when we are not uh, playing, when we are not running, the volume will be at zero, so when we are starting to move, it will scale up into the volume we have preset over here, and back again. Okay, so it's going to do a little bit of fading and fade out. Now, footsteps are two audio sources since we have uh, two footsteps they're basically the same as gun sounds okay no loop no play on awake and we will see where we are playing in from the script we we'll control all this stuff from the scripts and the effects is an audio source that we're going to use for special effects that do not have a, they do not necessarily uh, have we're not going to be using them all the time like the footsteps and the gun sounds. Okay, so we can say we can create the one behavior that we pass a simple string and plays the and plays the effect we want. Okay, so on our audio manager, we assign the gun sounds run folly. Now you we also need to assign the walk threshold and the run threshold which is how fast they're going to play the new sounds. Okay, for walk, something like 0.55, it worked for me. And for run threshold, we, uh, 0.3. Okay, this is how fast uh, the interval be between playing uh, footstep one and footstep two. Now, these are uh, the audio sources for footsteps. And I also have footstep clips, which is a list. It doesn't necessarily have to use only two, only two entries. Okay, you can use as much entries as you want over here, and it will play. It will randomly select uh, one clip of this, and it will play them on the footstep. So that you do not have uh, playing the same sound all over and all over again, and make it. it and it's not that uh, you know. It doesn't get too tiring. Now, effect source is the same as. Uh, the effects of the source and 
we have a list with effects, but it's not a simple list. It's a new, it's a new class we created. Okay, and its uh, effect we will have on this list will also have a unique name and the audio clip so that we can search it from that. Now, since we created the stage manager, okay, and pretty much from over here we have everything we need. Okay, these are the variables we're going to use floats, the audio sources, an array for the audio clips. And the audio clips list is a new class. Okay, serializable too, which has a string name and uh, the audio clip, as I said. So we have an array, a public array, where we have these classes and we save uh, our, our extra effects over there. So, we need a reference to our stage manager, and we do that by this. Get component set manager. The starting volume will be the volume from uh, the run folly. And uh, the run folly for start, we will make the volume to zero on update. We need to check if a character is moving, and we take that, we take the horizontal and the vertical uh, movement from the stage. Okay, and we add them together. But we basically do not care if where the direction the character is moving. We only want to know if it's moving. But we also uh, do not want to have any negative values. So that means we, go, we have to use the absolute values. Okay, but since this could go way higher than we want, we also clamp it between uh, 0 and 1. Okay, so basically that returns us uh, the uh, float between 0 and 1, of course. Okay, now we have a target threshold, which is, uh, which we use uh, somewhere. Let's see. Oh, yeah. We have our target threshold is how fast uh, e the, the timer for the footsteps okay so uh, what we basically need to find right now is if we are working if we are not working and if we are not aiming and also if we are not reloading that means we are running okay so the run fully volume will be the starting volume run multiplied by a character movement so if I make this uh, the run fully if I make the volume to one it will be multiplied by 1 since we are moving and there is a value into our float uh, movement into our character movement float okay then it will make it run okay and this way whatever the whatever volume we put in here it's going to change the it's going to to use as the maximum value okay since we are running we need since we know here that we're running, we can change the target threshold for the timer for when we are for where we are counting to play the footstep sounds. Okay. So if you are not running, that means we do not want the run folly. You can probably add a different folly over here for walking. Okay, so it's a little bit smaller or something like that doesn't really matter okay our target threshold will be the walk, th the walk threshold and the run folly we can simply lerp it to zero then a character movement if it's higher than zero that means we are moving then that means we can add to the our footstep timer and if the footstep timer is greater than the target threshold then we can simply call the function we have over here which is play footstep okay and we reset the timer else if we are not moving we take both of our audio sources and we stop them okay pretty simple now play footstep play footstep if footstep 1 the audio source of footstep 1 is not playing then find a random uh, clip from inside our list assign it and then play it okay if it's playing 
because we do not want uh, things to clip okay and we do not want our audio to cut in half okay we're going to use two audio sources so if both uh, if the first one is playing then do the same logic for the other one okay if both of these are playing then don't do nothing otherwise it was probably going to be uh, something wrong anyway okay play gun sound as simple as it gets place the gun sound and we call this from the uh, from the handle shooting so in handle shooting we had we have the audio manager saved into our state manager so we simply need to call it when we are trying to shoot when our time rate is the correct if we have bullets okay we play the gun sound but if we do not have bullets the first time it's going to play it's going to play an effect okay and you see over here that I call the next function we're going to see which is this function Okay, and this takes where is it? This takes the name of empty gun. So this function, what it does is we start since uh, we need to have a clip, or maybe we do not. But anyway, this way we will not get any errors if we do not have any clip. Okay, so it sets the list of our effect list, and it compares the name we give with the name of its clip the name we assign its clip let's uh, okay not not the name the actual name of the the clip the name we assign inside our entry and then if it finds it it's a, it assigns it in the clip and then the effect source clip will give that and then it will play the effect source and that is a simple audio manager how you can create it now there is another way you can add footsteps to the whole mix where well, actually there are two ways but I prefer this way since this is much simpler now the other way would have been to if you create uh, if you go into your animations which I'm going to do now Okay, if you go into your animations, if you go into your walk, uh, the similar way we added the curves on our reload. Okay, you could add on the walk or on the run, you could add either curves or events. So I can go over here and say, I see that on the frame that the character's foot is down I can click create and it will pass it I'll need to write the name of my function and I also need to uh, change I can also pass a float an integer or a string to that function okay but it's not that ideal for me so I didn't add it didn't make it this way the simplest way is uh, the one with our timer since uh, we do not have uh, that much of a variable changes in the speed okay so that means it can okay, you probably can hear it maybe there's a problem there's a reverb zone too that might uh, Let's see our footsteps, volume 1, volume 1. Yeah, you can hear it. Okay, I'm going to close for the, uh, the sound. And when I'm running, both with uh, the run falling and the footsteps that they are placed, okay, it doesn't even, uh, it's not that clear, okay, it makes a nice uh, blurred effect so it's uh, and it feels more natural okay since uh, the whole thing about games is and if they are tight or not is when the player is doing something uh, getting a feedback from the game okay and of course 
I can also do it. And I hope that's not allowed. And you will see that if I shoot all my bullets, when it's empty, it's going to play a clipping sound. Okay, that was it. And that's all. Now, since this is for the characters only, okay, we can also have an audio manager global which plays an ambient sound. And it's that sound you hear you hear in the background, okay? Okay, it's just some some sound, some noise and stuff like that. Now this doesn't need to be under a player, okay? And it shouldn't be under in player and you can also what you can also do for these sounds is make them 2d instead of a 3d okay so if you make a, a 3d a 2d sound then uh, that means wherever the audio source is no matter how far it is and wherever it's placed on the level it will always hear to the player like it's next to him and you can also add an audio source with the same properties for uh, the for music, I do not have any music, so I didn't even bother. Okay, and that's the basics of our audio. Okay, it's pretty rudimentary, and of course, with Unity 4, uh, with Unity 5, there is also the audio mixer where you can also create uh, snapshot groups and you can also add effects to some of the groups but you can add to all of them okay like ik or whatever and whatever then effect you are going to whatever output you can use that uses the same group uh, the same group of effects you can say that okay they will have the effects in them okay this has echo now Okay, this is pretty rudimentary right now. So you can, I mean, the guide is pretty rudimentary right now. Okay. So with that, I am going to complete the audio, the audio part and this part. Okay, and that was how we can set up the audio. On the last part, we're going to see. We're, it's not going to have any scripting, but we're going to see some effects and what things we can do to polish our game and make it feel uh, more tight and all this stuff okay so i'll see you on the next part